So guys and girls, welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm actually going to be reviewing this chair right here, which is called the GT Omega Pro Racing Office Chair. Now, I've actually been using this for around two months or so, which has given me ample amount of time to fully test the chair and give you my impressions on it. Now, before we get started, make sure to add me on Snapchat right here so you don't miss out on any more updates. And also use code SXVTech on screen right now for 5% off on this chair right here. And I will also leave it linked in the description below. And with that being said, Let's get started. My initial impressions when unboxing this chair was how well built it actually is. It is built from a metal construction and you can definitely notice it um, due to how heavy it is when assembling it. Now what I really like about this chair is that it looks like um, it was like taken out of a modern sports car which I really like. If I swivel around right now, um, you can tell the back, well you probably can't hear me, but you can tell the back looks really nice and it just looks really sleek and the best thing about this in my opinion is probably the design. The little features on this chair make it that much more premium. Um, on here, the chair, I can actually rotate these in and out and um, they're really good. They're also high adjustable, so the armrests are really good. The only thing I don't like about them is it is plastic, so when my elbows are rested on it, it sometimes hurts after long sessions. So I would advise GT Omega to basically go with a better material. Obviously, I can say it's made out of premium plastic or whatever, but either way, it's plastic and it just doesn't fit this premium look of the chair. So. Yeah, that's my feedback on it. With that being said, whenever I need some extra space in my room, I can just lower the armrest and tuck the chair in under my desk, which cleared up a lot of space in my room. And you don't really notice it until you actually do so yourself. And then you'll realize how much space you actually have if you have a smaller room. They also nailed the branding on the chair as it is not bombarded with GT Omega branding. Rather, it has some subtle stitching on the top part of the chair and it looks sleek. So now that's out the way, let's talk about the comfort of this chair because obviously when you go to buy a chair, the most important part should be the comfort and I'm going to talk about it right now. Now what GT Omega did to um, make it a bit more premium was to actually include a lumbar support pillow which I'm actually resting on right now. Now without this the chair just feels incomplete and the reason being is because it really supports your back and um, reinforces the right posture and they also included a headrest which I rarely ever put on my chair only when I'm leaning all the way back. Now speaking about leaning all the way back there's actually a lever right here and if I lift this up, um, what I can do is tilt all the way back. All right, watch this, watch this. Okay, let's do this, three, two, one. And then I just put this lever up and then boom, I'm back and I'm ready to work on whatever I need to do. This is by far my favorite feature about this chair, um, just being able to just lean all the way back and then just instantly be able to just get back into the right posture. Now, I did say I'm gonna talk about the comfort. So the comfort, I don't know, it, in my opinion, like when I actually first got the chair, I thought it was gonna be super, super cushiony, like memory foam or something like my old chair, which was very, um, it was very soft, but this is a more firmer chair. So when I actually go and sit on it, you can really feel that it, it, you don't sink into the chair. It's more of a firm um, premium padding that it has going on, nothing like real leather or whatever. Um, so. With that being said, I do feel that long sessions, it does actually hurt my back. Now, I don't know whether it's because of the lumbar support or anything like that, but when I obviously move it right here, I just don't think it gets me into the right posture. Now, um, I've seen a lot of people complain about gaming chairs, obviously not being suited for the right posture. I did actually try a DX racer when I was at EGX and that was more comfy than this, but I know a lot of people want a more firm, a more firmer chair and that's because they want to reinforce their posture. So if you want that, then go for this because trust me, this is a really good chair for that. But just sometimes it just like the, it just hurts my back. I don't know why it might be me. I don't know, but that's just how I feel about it. So now we're going to move on to some more features about this chair. The GT Omega Pro Racing Office Chair costs around $259 or £150. Now, I know that's a lot of money for most people. However, what you're paying for is a premium chair with a bunch of features included. And obviously the design, the design is probably one of the main features people buy gaming chairs because of how sleek they actually look. Now, who is this for? Well, basically it's for video editors, gamers, or anyone that basically spends time at their computer at their laptop and just want to um, have a really nice looking chair and have like a more reinforced posture because this is what this chair I think actually does. Um, so yeah, that is my input on it and that's about it for today's video. Anyway guys, that was it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a massive thumbs up. And like I mentioned before, I will leave links in the description below to actually directly purchase this chair right here. Now, with that being said, comment down below, hashtag pizza if you watched this far into the video. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, and also if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram right here. And that is pretty much it. And I'll be back 
soon with a channel update uh, maybe sometime in the week so look forward to that anyway guys i'm hamza from super extreme video and i'll talk to you lot in the next one later lads bye whoa yo i nearly fell off the chair good job it's actually premium bye